Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So this is part two of Warships. So I have to apologise for the last video because I didn't buy heavies. I completely forgot. I did watch the video back and they were flashing to alert me to buy them. So I bought them now. They're level one. So it should be a lot easier now with heavies to bullet sponge. And you can see it's flashing there for Zooks as well. Even though I don't really use them. I might as well buy them as well. So let's unlock them. I've actually got 134,000 upgrade tokens. So let's go ahead and choose what we want to do. So I think we should go for Rifleman up again. So level up on the Rifleman. It's level 3. And I think I'll go... Can't do any of that yet so I'll leave 49,500 unless I can do gumbo no how much is heavies no I can't do that so I could go up with flamethrowers if I wanted 41,000 so I think I will level up at 41,500 the flamethrowers that just gives my base a little bit more protection so let's get a third one Just bear with me, I'll just pause the video now and uh, redesign my base with three flamethrowers. Hi guys and welcome back. So I have adjusted my base now. So the flamethrowers are protecting the, uh, the engine rooms. Two machine guns. These sniper towers don't really meet. Neither do these machine guns. But these mortars do if they try and sneak down the side there. They haven't got really, not really going to survive with three flamethrowers there. So let's go ahead and look for another. So let's boost our troops. Let's go ahead and battle. Drop the troops. Just let them do their thing. Get them onto the engine room quick before he takes our engine room. That's one done. Let's flare him onto the other one. Just to stop any wandering off. There we go, both done. Let's spectate and see what he's doing with ours. Uh, he's not going to manage it. leave there, I don't know what happened there. Let's go ahead and show you what they did. Enemy replay. I think they just all died just as I clicked on it. Someone with all zooks. So that was a previous match. I don't know why it's not shown the new one. Let's go ahead. That was my base they were attacking. So they finished their attack. I don't know what was going on there. So I must have won that one. So that's new. So this is a Rowley. So this is my new base design. I thought he had uh, riflemen. They're all riflemen, so let's see what happens here. Oh. 
the machine guns absolutely decimate these riflemen. Eventually, if you throw enough riflemen into the uh, fight, you will win. I mean, you got a long way with just riflemen there. I don't think one on his own is going to do it. Let's just fast forward that. Got three minutes of, uh, of him shooting got an engine room with 10,000 health, so he hasn't got much chance of that working now is he? Let's just go back. So let's go ahead and go for another fight. So let's boost the troops. So I've got 180 riflemen there to go at. Let's go ahead and battle again. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Go ahead and land all the troops over here. And while we're walking over, I'll just take out that flamethrower and this one here as well. They are absolutely deadly to riflemen, because that's my main troop. Just need one more. Right, guide them onto that, straight onto that. Now I should get some more and I'll guide them straight onto the other one. I don't care about that. Just get that. Just get that engine room quick. You've really got to do it fast. So let's go ahead and spectate and see how far he's got. He's uh, running away. Right. Let's go on to another one. We'll just keep going. And there we go. So it automatically jumps to this screen, just telling me that I've won another one. I don't know what that other noise was, but this base is working well. Let's go ahead and replenish there so we're on a win streak now as you can see just above battle so that means if I win this next one the one star is times by three so the last time I got to this position I lost this battle and I never got to a win streak of four so I think at some point the game stops you from earning too many stars so there's a likelihood that you know eventually it'll stop you This isn't massively strong, this base. I do need to up upgrade my, um, my gumbo ability there. Flaring onto the onto the engine room. That's one. Flaring onto the second one. It's been as close as one second between win and lose on a previous uh, battle I did. Let's go ahead and spectate on the other game. So he's still got one engine room to do. Let's leave that. And obviously I won that one. There we go. We're up to claim another chest. That's not a bad reward. Bear in mind I am level 65, so this is why it's giving me this reward. So let's claim rewards. That's my main base is level 65. So I've got 52 
unlock tokens now. Let's see what we can do with 268,000. And that's the upgrade tokens there. So I can actually get a third engine room. So let's go ahead and buy that, shall we? Well, I can't do that. As you can see, the tech level required is 150. So I'm at level 135. So what I need to do is upgrade something. So let's upgrade this one. And then I get 15. So that should be enough. So that's 150 of the tech level now. There you go. See, it's glitching out because it doesn't want to give it to me. So everything is covered here now. So the health is to 20,000. So your HQ level required is 12. The tech level required is 150. So we've got all that. And then we've also got the 20 to unlock it. So let's go ahead and unlock that. So the downside is now there's two ways into this base. So just bear with me, I'm going to pause the base, pause the game again, and I'm going to redesign it with a third engine room. So just bear with me. So I've just done that guys, and now we have three engine rooms there. And what I remember now is we've also got some uh, upgrade tokens. So let's go ahead and see what we can have. So I've decided to go with machine guns at 53,000. Gunboat at 54,000. And artillery at 69,500. So let's see what we've got there. So we've got an extra machine gun. So let's put that down. So I'm just going to pause it again like I did before and I'm going to rejig it with an extra machine gun. Hi guys and welcome back. So I've just rejigged that slightly. So all four flamethrowers are now covering them. It's unlikely they'll be able to shoot artillery at them. I'm happy to leave them there anyway because there's now two entrances when you have an extra engine room. There's a, a left and a right ramp so you can land on either one. Obviously you don't want to land put your stuff right next to one of the ramps you're going to lose it quite quickly. So I've put them right in the back corner so that forces them to come on and run the longest way. So let's go ahead and see where we are now. So let's press the the icon there for refilling the troops. So we're on a win streak four times now. So if we win one more match, we get four stars in reward. So let's go ahead and battle. Like I said, at some point I expect the game to stop me and we'll see. At the moment there's no, uh, no flamethrowers. Why would you not have flamethrowers? But you know, they don't have flamethrowers, so what can you do? The mortars are probably the next dangerous thing. I should have hit him between the two buildings there. They're just absolutely blasting through this. So if I hit right in the middle, I wonder what happens. There's a lot of troops there. That's one gone. That's two. I think the other guy will still be attacking my base. There's one. There's two. They are increased health as well, I think, all three. I'm going to check when I go back. He's got a lot of troops left, but it just took him too long. So yes, you can take all three of mine down. But as you can see there, it took him 15 seconds 
longer, and it's a win streak four as well. So let's return and see what it gives us in reward. So we've got three there, I think. And we also got a reward. That's not a bad reward. Let's claim that reward. So I'm just going to pause the game again to see what I want to do next. Just bear with me. Hi guys and welcome back. So I've decided what to do. So let's go ahead and go to the tech tree. So I'm going to do flamethrowers again. 146,500. Which levels them up from 12 to 16. And then I get another one as well. So you can see they're leveling up in health there. So let's just get another one. What I thought about doing was swapping them over. Let's see if we can unlock anything else in the tech tree. We can go to cannons there for 15 or health for 18. So what I'm probably going to do is unlock the cannons. Two cannons as well. And unlock them for 15. And I'm probably going to unlock The health as well, and that's 18. So I'm short by one to be able to uh, either get warriors or boom cannon. And the one in the middle is I get a choice of one of them. The game is glitching like crazy. I don't think it wants to give me this stuff at all. So let's go ahead and see what we've got to lay down. So we've got two cannons now as well. And bearing in mind, I am only level three here. And we're halfway to level four. So let's go ahead and pause the game again. I'll be back in a minute. So welcome back, guys. So I've, I've put those two level six cannons down, which are covering the middle ground on the way down. We'll see if it makes a difference. When we, uh, when we take on our next uh, customer. So we're on a five time streak now. Let's go ahead. We don't need to fill any troops. It's breaking up again. Sorry, the, the music in the background. So let's go ahead and battle. And this will be the last one now. Uh, there's some uh, cannons on this one, so I think they're going to make me lose this one, I have a feeling. Yep, I don't think it's worth going into this one, guys. So let's see what happens. We're on five times bonus there, weren't we? So what happens if I, obviously if I end battle, I save my troops, but I'll lose the bonus, but I'm going to lose my troops anyway. So let's end battle there, top right hand corner. So let's go ahead and see what he's going to make of our base. I didn't even land, so he's already won. But I protected my troops because I know for a fact the cannons would decimate the heavies. And the game is stopping you basically from going up. There we go, they're all getting burned. All the zooks got burned alive. So we didn't do bad there for the first attempt at designing that base. Obviously he's going to win. You know, all that's left is two, uh, two machine guns right back there. And there's nothing I can do anyway. All I could do is put one in that bottom corner. And that might have stopped him. So, obviously he's won and took all three of my... All 
all three of my um, cores. Let's return. So obviously I lost that one. So now when we go into battle, the uh, four times has dropped or five times. I can't remember which one it was. But I haven't lost all my troops. So I don't really want to wait four and a half, five hours to be able to play the game again. I'm happy to lose one to be able to keep my uh, my troops. So other than the repeat, which is unusual, you don't normally get that in the game. So it won't go to the corner. No. So that won't work in the corner. That corner piece, it, you can't land anything there. So yeah, I've got three engine rooms now, all level two. Let's see what the health is. They're all 20,000 health, so you really need Zookas to be able to smash them to bits. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there now, guys. So that's that's video number two anyway, and more will be coming as we grow this base. So thanks for watching, guys, and check back soon.